here in distributed organization as we know already all sites cooperate in detecting a cycle there is no controller site all sites cooperate in detecting a cycle in state graph that is likely to be to be distributed to the sites okay now coming to path pushing algorithm path pushing algorithm here the wait for dependency the information about the wait for dependencies are circulated propagated in the form of path right so every site will inform to the next site about the wait for dependency right and also the individual site maintain its own local wait for graph right in that graph there will be a special node call p external p x in or node right always right if there are two for example if there are two processes pi and pj right suppose in as a local site pi is requesting or waiting for pj pj in turn waiting for another resource which is av available in the external site adina we have to put a px right so this is how actually because this px this this resource is not available in the local site it is somewhere else no that's why the local wait for graph will contain px right okay so there are two no that uh, terms one is pi requesting px abina enna artham a local process requesting an external resource and here px requesting pj that means and a, a process at external site requesting the local site's process uh, resource right so that's what the meaning of this notation and algorithm coming to the algorithm if any local wait for graph contain a cycle that doesn't involve any pex node abdina then deadlock detected right there is a local wait i already mentioned there is a local wait for graph இல்ல தேர் இஸ் அ பிஎக்ஸ் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அப்படின்னா இந்த மாதிரி பேட்டர்ன்ல சப்போஸ் இஃப் தேர் இஸ் அ சைக்கிள் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் இஃப் தி எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ப்ராசஸ் நோட் பிஎக்ஸ் எஸ்ஐ சென்ஸ் மெசேஜ் டு எஸ்ஜே தென் நவ் வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் எஸ் SJ the receiving site forms a w uh, sorry wait for graph with information to detect with new information to detect deadlock this is what the simple algorithm now example we if you see you can understand the algorithm which is s1 and another site which is s2 and one more site which is s3 right now site s1 site s1 how process p1 which is waiting for p2 right but p2 in turn waiting for px so px wait for now p1 isn't so and in site 2 there are two process p sorry one process p3 which is waiting for another process external process px so we can say we have to complete the loop like this right and in third site there is process p4 which is again waiting for an external process like this now here p the, the site 2 is said to, said to be a initiating site let's say okay so this sends a path pushing message to s3 right what will happen here is 
the weight for local weight for graph of s2 will be added with the s3 right so here what happens here the local weight for graph of s2 is p3 right and here look s3 la p4 irukku illaya rendu and one common external request so p3 requesting px similarly p4 requesting px right so that p3 is in turn requesting p4 right now and on getting this message p3 px nu varum right ipo inda sighting add pannidudhu idhu da s3 la construct ana graph now s3 sends a message to s1 so which in turn ipo s3 la inga irukla pa inge vande s1 plus s2 plus s3 add aagum in the wait for graph will be sent to s1 in s1 what will happen here already px uh, p3 p4 px varum inga so and next p2 then p3 and then p4 so here already p1 p2 the e will now the site at a site s1 there is a deadlock detector okay so this is how actually path pushing algorithm works so the site pushing the path but now there is a path at a local wait for graph at a site 2 which is pushing forward to site 3 right so at site 3 the extra included right similarly like this right so okay and then when this this is constructed at this site right and when this half wave wfg global wfg is circulated to the site 1 there this particular wsg is constructed right where there is no more sites in the line so that in at s1 it is decided there is a cycle in the wait for graph and it, there are deadlock detected right so this is how actually the path pushing algorithm works